Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar from Winnipeg, Canada, and I'm here to show you how I program a kit on the brand new Roland TD25. So let's start building a kit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a drum set that's already close to what I have in mind for this particular sound. We're gonna start with Hard Rock 2, and let's start up with the bass drum. It sounded pretty good, but let's change it. We've got some options. There's a lot of sounds on this module. Let's find one that we're gonna love. It's pretty heavy. Let's see what else we have. All right, so we have the 22-inch Power Birch. This is sounding pretty close to what I'm looking for. Let's start playing with the tuning and see what we can do with this. The tuning at zero seems to work perfectly for what I was looking for. Although those low and high options were amazing and fun, let's start playing around with our muffling. Let's see what happens when we put on the first setting, which is tape one. So we have a few muffling options with tape. One of them kind of looks like a little bit of a sad face. It doesn't sound sad, it sounds great. Next up we have blanket. That's toning it down in a really good way. We have a lot of meat with that, but it's cutting the sustain enough that we could play some intricate double bass patterns and still get away with it. All right, so let's settle on the blanket. I think that sounds great. It's perfect. It's got just enough meat, and it's going to be able to handle tech metal if we needed to. All right, so let's start playing around with the snare drum. It's as easy as just pressing the snare button. Let's find an instrument that we like. We started off with vintage rock. It's really fat, but it's got a lot of overtones, and in the kind of metal setting I'm gonna try and make this kit work for, it's not the right sound. Let's find something with a little bit more brightness and attack that kind of chokes off a little earlier. I want just a little more meat than that, so let's, let's tune it down a bit. I'm feeling that's matching up with my bass drum pretty well. Let's get into muffling. Oh. I think that's the one. Cool. All right, next up, we're gonna have to take a look at these toms. Let's see what we have first. Kind of big and thuddy. Let's see if we can get something that has maybe a little more presence. I'm liking that. It's got a lot of sustain, but we can take care of that later. Let's match the rest of the toms to this, this littler guy first. So far, this is a 14-inch heavy. You know, on a real drum kit, I'm not going to put a 14-inch tom up here. cool thing about the V-drums is I can stick that on an 8-inch pad. Let's put a bigger one on the next 8-inch pad. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we're starting to sound epically large. Let's kind of rein these in a little bit. Tape one is pretty good. Tape one is getting rid of a little bit of that overtone at the end, but I think, I think we need just a little more. That's good, it kind of, it opens right up and then it just kind of stops. I'm liking that. Let's see what it sounds like on the rest of the toms together. Cool. I'm having so much fun with these with the stock tuning, I'm just gonna leave it. I like it, this is sounding great. This all matches very nicely. Our kick, snare, and the toms just work.
like it. Let's get into some symbols. Let's get these guys out of the way first. these. Let's start playing around with the size. We can go with completely unrealistic sizing on these cymbals. I want to play. <laughs> One inch hat bells. All right. 15 is sounding great. They just I'm designing this kit for more technical metal stuff, so let's get rid of these washy cymbals and have something a little drier. Let me find some stacks. Well, that's kind of neat. Ride with short tail too. Ah, here we go. Stacked. 16 stacked. There we go. 16 inch stacked. All right, let's tune these guys up. All right, I think this is a winner. 25 inch, I like it, 25 inch stack. Let's make another one. Perfect, 100%, that's it. All right, this is the bigger version of the stack. Let's play with the tuning. Let's make it like big, big. Let's see how big we can make this, 40. <laughs> it's awesome, but it might be a little much. It's Pull it up just a touch. Ooh. We're gonna need something that sustains a little bit, so let's make this guy something a little bit different, but definitely not that. I want it darker, something meaty. All right, I'm liking this 18 inch dark. Let's play with it a little bit. Let's make it darker. All right, I think we have this sorted out. Let's, let's play around with our levels. Let's make sure this gets mixed perfectly.
now that we have our levels set up, it's time to play around with kit effects. All right, so the first thing that we have here is our reverb type. Immediately liking how Arena sounds. All right, so let's get back to Arena here. All right, this is sounding great, but we need to tone it down a little bit to fit in with more intricate music, so to speak. Starting to get there. Still just a little much. Just a touch. There we go. Now, we've ended up at a reverb level of 21. Let's give my kick some articulation still without seeming like it's overly boomy. But a great way to check your work and see how it all sounds is to record yourself and then you can play it back. Let's see how it sounds. Final step of the puzzle, let's give this kid a name. Dr. Stacula, that sounds about right. Let's see what this sounds like in the context of a song. 